Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Much appreciated you guys making a little time out of your day to watch the video. I'm always grateful for that. Today I've got a really juicy, great November bass fishing tip for you guys. I'm going to let you guys in on something that the bass do in November that very few people know about. That's really going to help you guys catch some more fish. So we'll get into that here in a second here. I um, just want to remind you guys, if you haven't had a chance, um, we got a, or Baitworks has a 20% off sale during the entire month of November on their jerk baits, with the exception of Mega Bass. If you guys are interested in getting a wide range of jerk baits there, I'll include the Baitworks link in the description for 20% off. Also, I'll include the Solar Bat link in the description. You guys, we uh, talked about earlier, Solar Bat has a November sale where if you buy a pair of my RB2 Signature Series sunglasses, you get a second pair uh, of equal value, equal or lesser value at no charge. So basically, buy one, get one free. So I'll include the uh, Solar Bat link also. Much appreciated. Okay guys, we're gonna talk a little bit about bass behavior and personality in November. Now, when I do these videos, there's there's two different aspects that I focus in on. I focus in on lure, lure and technique, that type of stuff, and then I focus in on bass behavior and movement. When I do the lure you know, tips, that type of stuff, they usually get a pretty good reception, get a lot of views, but when I do bass personality and behavior and movement, it's sort of like my mental Mondays, nobody watches them. Guys, if you want to improve your bass fishing more than anything else, you have got to understand bass mood, personality, and behavior far more in, in, in detail or intricately than you do your lures like that. It's going to help you catch so many more bass. So I'm going to, there's a lot of different aspects of November fishing, but in this video, for the sake of the brevity in this video, I'm going to share with you guys what is the most important thing to realize about bass in November. Now, what happens with this, before I get into it, it's triggered by a couple different things. A lot of people think it's triggered by water temperature, which it is to some extent, but in my opinion, it's triggered more about the or the shortening daylight hours. Because, you know, November, December are the shortest daylight hours we have of the year. What? Um, um, after a video, can we go to the gas station? Well, maybe we'll see. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Hey, by the way, how do you guys like my tie dye shirt here? We had a at the uh, gym the other night. We had a sort of like a little party where we got together and everybody tie dyed a white T-shirt. So I got mine on here. If you want to know, where I got the tie dye T-shirt. Okay. Back to the thing. The the most important thing that I want to share with you guys today, as far as just the one tip, is understanding the fact that when you have a combination of short daylight hours, dropping water temperatures, and dropping water levels, the bass become chasers. They become where their mood and personality is set up to chase and to basically react to moving baits better. So one of the things that I always make a transition in, in the month of November, is I put down my slow baits, like my shaky heads, my worms, my football head jigs, some jigs once in a while, drop shots, all the slow bottom type lures, and I go to moving baits. November to me is probably one of the best months of the year to throw moving baits like crankbaits, spinner baits, top waters, swim baits, anything that you can reel horizontally along the water column. And a lot of this has to do with the bass are in a lot of different depth ranges in November. You can catch them suspended on the bottom, shallow, deep, but regardless, is when you have a combination specifically of low light conditions, which is cloud, rain, a little bit of wind, or early and late in the day when there's some shade on the bank, and water temperatures in the 50s or low 60s, there's not a better time of year to catch them on a moving bait. I think personally, like I said, a crankbait, especially a lipless crankbait, spinnerbait, even a buzzbait too, if the water temperatures aren't below 55 degrees, is the big key to catching them. So the main point of the video, guys, is when you think in, when you think in terms of November bass personality and move, think about power fish and think about covering water, thinking about baits that you can cast and reel, that you can move fast through that water column, cover a tremendous amount of bank, and that's the way that I have found to catch them more than anything else. I The best days, guys, some of the best fishing days I've had in my life especially in the Ozarks here, or even like I've had good days like at Lake Lanier in Georgia doing it. If you get a cloudy, windy day in November with water temperature in the 50s, you're gonna catch them. That's, the, that's just the perfect situation 
to catch them power fish and shallow. So anyway, take advantage of it, guys. Put your slow baits down in the month of November. Those will pick back up in December. But for now, um, just do some chunking and winding. So hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll talk later. See you.